Smash you Brothers! <laughs> For yes. Wii U and 3DS. By the way, we want your money. Well, you can, you can have it. Hell, here's my bank account number. Just take what you want. Ugh. So, like, 34 minutes of the details from Sakurai himself, and a lot to go over. Oh, by the way, uh, disclaimer here. The man joining us today is Johnny. He's just on TV's uh, microphone, so he's going to sound a bit different, just to let you know. And on top of Peach. No, he's not on top of Peach. Peach is, no Peach is in the back, doing nothing, being silent. We're a bit sexist right now. Uh, okay, but anyway, let's go over some of the details from yesterday's Smash Brothers Direct. Um, should we start about uh, like stages and all that? Yeah, I sure. Think let's start off. Sure, it's stages, I guess. Okay. Okay. So, so um, several. Uh, Old stages that were confirmed beforehand have been or elaborated on, Indeed, yeah. and a few ones have been confirmed, including like a uh, like um, Battleship Halberd has been confirmed to return for the Wii U version. That probably hints to Meta Knight's return. Oh God, I hope they dumped him down. Otherwise, he's still going to be god tier. That's really going to be weird, like having his own ship in it, but not him. Like the only reference you'll see is his face on top of the ship. Now watch, he just gets demoted to a cis trophy. Oh, I know he was cheap in the written brawl, but you can double him down. Yeah, otherwise it'd be like having Samurai Goro in it without Captain Falcon. Hint, hint, Sakurai, give me a hint. Um, finally, Yoshi has been reconfirmed, which has been a long time. You'd expect him to have been confirmed since the release of, like, um, New Island. Right. And, as opposed to his other incarnations, he stands up straight. What does that change? Uh, I don't fucking know. Apparently it makes him stronger. They're doing that a lot for, like, which some of the characters. Bowser and Yoshi both yeah, are like, oh, they made a lot of characters better and tweaked. Pretty much the main change they said when it came to characters was we're making them stronger. Except for Little Mac, he will suck in the end. Yeah, but he's a beast on ground. Oh, he's gonna be one of my mains. He is um, going to be. So far there hasn't been a new character I've been overly attached to yet. No, there, there um, I guess I need to wait a bit. Yeah. We still got time, we got until summer for 3DS, winter for Wii U, which by the way, those are the release dates. I didn't even hear uh, that. Uh, Peach yelled Rosalina. Yes. They explained more mechanics of Rosalina. Which has? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be more like an in-depth uh, version of the Ice Climbers, where uh, Despite the fact Luma will be like can be further away from Rosalina, it basically moves on its own. But you base it basically its AI is said to attack when Rosalina attacks. And then does that mean like if Rosalina is hitting someone and it's like the only enemy like Luma is sitting at their battle, he's just punching. It's like he's a special Luma. <laughs> Am I exactly. doing good, mother? Am I doing good? So far, it's better with Ice Climbers, because at least you can attack with them separately. Um, they also added in the fact that characters will no longer be able to switch characterizations during battle. So some characters oh. like Zelda and Samus, Sheik and Zero Star are going to be completely separate characters now. Making a bigger uh -huh. roster. Yeah. <laughs> Which but ironically kind of gives this whole mind fuck because like Zelda and Sheik, they're like the uh, same co person, like, you're me, but I'm you. How does that work? I am a shadow, the truth, sir. So. <laughs> also, to talk about Zero Suit Samus' redesign, it is awesome and sexy. They're rocket boots, though. They're rocket boots, man. Mm. And 
the receiver suit is a bit more detailed, and I guess you could say that ass though. I, I barely that saw that ass. That boobage though. She. Yeah, that's <laughs> ironically they made her bust bigger. Yeah, I think I think they kind of hint something like what the only female really strong female in the, the entire Nintendo lineup now, as well. If you want to go for a tweet I read about this, uh, a few people I heard were saying, "Hey, now she's in it, we won't need Bayonetta anymore." <laughs> well, they're, they got a point, but just don't pair her off with anyone again. And if Snake, honest to God does come back. We don't need any more shipping with those two. I'm still I'm shipping Wii Fit Trainer and Samus. Hmm? Say it again, bitch. I also read a tweet about it being like, this is Brawl, not Soul Calibur. That was True. Jay Witz, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah that was <laughs> Jay Witz. <laughs> Since you guys put it a lot, that's kind of obvious. Um, Sheik, not a lot of difference, I'd say. Since, since uh, she um, can't transform to Zelda, they did change two of her attacks. I thought Sheik was a man. Whatever. Man, woman, he, she, it, shit. Who cares? I'm still shipping Samus and Wheat Fit Trainer. Connor, you're not supposed to talk in this video. <laughs> I don't care. I'm fuck the police. Well, let's face it. The internet has already shipped those two together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, um, should we get down to what made what mainly covered for this direct, which is Pokemon? Yes. Uh, Master Ball, new item, which will only contain rare and legendary Pokemon. It, yeah. it takes away the random factor, but it again adds more depth. And the bad panic to the players. True, because the moment that Master Ball hits the stage, SCRAMBLE! <laughs> You too. <laughs> um, they've also um, confirmed some more some more Pokeball uh, Pokemon to be summoned, mainly from the newer generations, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, which include uh, Skewper, Tenakin, and Chespin, Meloetta, Curum. Uh, hang on, I need to go over the list here. Keldeo. Is the Oxus yeah, new? Uh, the Oxus was in Brawl. Uh, Go Goat, that was one. Palkia. Go Goat, which you can now ride as well, apparently, so that's kind of fun. Cool. Uh, which is fun, because in the screenshot, it's Mario mounting the uh, Go Goat. While which, shooting off uh, blood. Which made, makes me call in the caption Who needs a green r dinosaur when you have a green goat? Yoshi's gonna be in the back of a knife, just like, Let the Go Goat die. You'll see, you'll see his corp, you can see his corp, his corpse in that new build game. Uh, along with the Pokeball, we got a few other new items, like the back suit in Kid Icarus Uprising, the Beetle from Legend of Zelda Skyward Swords, Bomb Shoes, um, Bomb Shoes, the Blue Shell, the Drill Arm again from Kid Icarus Uprising, the yeah. Behind. The blue shell is a homing shell, but is it just going to hold more until like whatever's closest to you? Probably. Probably. Rocket belt from Pilot Wings. Boomerang. Bullet bills. Power blocks. Cookers. Wait, power blocks are already in. Oh, power blocks are new to this game. I thought they were in bro. I thought so too, but apparently they weren't. Yeah. Oh, P.S. Best part about the Pokeballs, you can now summon God. Judgment! Are Wait, you can summon Morgan Freeman? No. Okay. Yeah. You can summon Archie's the best Pokemon anal joke ever made. Uh, I, I don't think it's Morgan it's also, Freeman. It's also a raccoon leaf item, which basically turns the character into nu Tanuki. Or just at wearing it. The uh, like raccoon form with the ears and tail. Wait, if Samus gets that, she can be taken to be a furry though. Oh dear God! <laughs> Banard shall be made, folks. It's at a night we died in hell. Chances are, it's probably going to be like another bunny hood. Right. 
What's, what's P.S.? That picture of Severus in the bunny hood. Mm-hmm. Okay, I Wait. think I've sexualized Severus enough this episode. Playboy. Um, oh, big things about Pokemon as well. Uh, new car- playable characters. Charizard is brought back. No Pokemon trainer he's given the shaft. And Charizard got a cu- couple of new moves on him, I guess, since he no longer needs to be switched. Um, including Mega Revolution. Which is also confirmed for Lucario. So this, this either gives bad if it's either a final smash or yet the Mega Stone is like an item that will only work for Pokemon. Uh, if that's that, the I have a, but then why have a specific yeah. item for like two characters? Yeah. Or in from what I'm thinking, it's probably going to be like a gimmick exclusive to like Charizard and Lucario, similar to like Little Max uh, Power Up Meter. I guess so. P.S. Little Mac is a beast. Uh, other, <laughs> other playable character as my main man, the Frog Greninja. Oh boy, Greninja! Greninja for Smash President. Were you honestly expecting that? I wasn't. I, I was, wasn't. I was thinking chest nice. When they were showing his trailer, I honestly thought it was Mewtwo. Yeah, that's the response I've been hearing a lot. To be honest, I would have thought the same, but I had it spoiled for me. Thanks, Tom. If I could find this one picture, it's pretty much who's that Pokemon with the outline of Mewtwo and then it revealing Greninja. Uh, I have to say, yeah, I'm quite excited for this one. This Greninja's probably going to, like, be my top main now, just for the fact that I really enjoy Grenin- Greninja and so I picked a Faroki as the beginning of starters. Uh, I was kind of skeptical as how he would play, because, like, if you look at Greninja's kind of body shape, he kind of looked a bit even awkward to jump around in, but he seems to be quite flexible from what we've seen. Yeah, he lives up to its ninja-like basage, and has, plays a lot of moves you wouldn't expect him to play out with, like a substitute. Yep. I'll just, I just think I'm narrow to a joke about substitute, really. Hey, 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 hey. Greninja is a better ninja than Naruto. Fuck yeah. Hell, Yuffie's a better ninja than Naruto, Naruto and that's saying something. I'm sorry, I said Naruto. Chibi Naruto! Chibi Naruto! So, somebody Chibi made the angry fans. Yes. Okay, I'll have again, don't you? I'm kind of cutting there. Somebody made fan art of, like, Greninja teaching Yoshi how to make a scarf out of his tongue. Oh, God, we need that. That raised the idea, that raised the question I was saying to Shady earlier on. If Kirby and he was Greninja, what is it going to get? Is it going to get like a turban made out of tongue? I still say Kirby's tongue is just going to super extend and wrap around his head. Um, um, I'm assuming that his final smash is going to be like Night Slash or something. From the looks of it, it looks like because like, it was doing a sort of it was zipping all the way around the screen kind of thing. Yeah. But it looks like that kind of final smash is like. You need to have the enemy right next to you in order to use it. Mm-hmm. While we're on the subject of Final Smashes, a few Final Smashes have been changed. These include Kirby, Pit, I assume Sheik and Zero Sam- Suit Samus. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? I will say, I welcome Kirby and Pitt's changes, because I did not like either of their final smashes in Brawl. Pitt's was silly and so was Kirby's. To say what their final smashes are, Pitt's is the three sacred treasures. He then spams arrows across the screen. And Kirby... And Kirby is the Ultra Sword from uh, Return to Dreamland. Yep. I was half expecting something you are related to, I'll be honest. P.S. If we ever manage to get together, we're playing Return to Dream World. We're gonna get we oh. play, If we ever get together, we need to play Dream World. In 3D, 3D, 3D World, I mean, from Mario. Well, I do own it, so... We're, get, we're getting off subject here. Back to Smash. That Mega Man Final Smash. Oh, that Mega Man Final Smash. Can you describe it? 
You have five iterations of Mega Man. Mega Man Bolt Nut for Mega Man Legends. Mega Man for Mega Man Star Force. Mega Man X. And Mega Man from Mega Man Battle Network. All lined up with the original Mega Man just shooting a rainbow of lasers. Cue the image. Oh, fuck that. You get the video clip. You don't need the image. No, I meant mean, what the uh, Mega, Mega Man look like. That's what we're saying. Um, what else is there to add in to our news? Uh, let's see. We can talk about online mode. Peter, yeah. you doing like sort of like fist pump, like yeah, hell yeah, Brock on Brook Hammer. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, online mode is separated into pretty much two sections. You have for fun mode, which is pretty much the mode where the stage is set at random, all the items are on, and you can pretty much just have a bunch of fun with you and your friends. And then the other mode is for glory, which is pretty much set at tournament rules. The only stage you have are fi our final destination, no items are on, and it will also allow one-on-one -on -one battles. Which brings to another thing, uh, stages now have a final destination mode. Meaning? Meaning uh, that... All the stage gimmicks will be turned off, and there will be no platforms. Ouch. Yep. Which, I will say, Sakurai is at least giving the tournament players something to look forward to, while at the same time still making it a little bit difficult, because the way they're making it difficult, let's talk about the global smash power. Which is, uh, is that the thing where... The more people you battle, the stronger you technically are. Yeah, something like that. Essentially, instead of like giving you a score and saying you're this rank among this many people, you will be set a number. And how big that number is, like say your number is 300, that means you're better than 300 other people who are playing Smash right now. But then how can you tell who's the best if they have the biggest number? See, that's what makes it hard. You can't tell who's the best. All you can tell is this person is better than this many people, so... But some of that could have been through someone maybe dropping out, or being forfeited, or even just like... Oh, so that brings, uh, brings me to something else. Uh, Sakurai announced the rules for online play. Hey, he, said, uh, hey, he also said he's working on something to fix the dropping out situation, as was regular in Brawl. Um, let's see. Uh, bans will be issued to those who like enter the get a game but don't play. So just like stand around, constantly self-destruct. Um, what else was it? Constantly picking on one person. All right, that's another one. Oh, right. Making a game and leaving it. Is there like a strike floor? Is like the second you do that, you're bad. He, uh, he didn't give off much details about it. All he said is that they're working on things for it. Yeah, the bands aren't permanent, but the more offenses you do, the longer it bans you. Right. And not speaking of things he announced but didn't give us details for, by the way, we are the masters of segues in this. There was the custom move set. What? I didn't hear about this. Oh yeah, custom move set. You can basically it's not for online play, it's just for local or with friends stuff. Yeah. What's it mean though? See, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think you can like set special effects on attacks because there's like you know how Kirby usually sucks up enemies mm -hmm. they I showed a clip where when Kirby was doing that he also had an ice effect to it while, so he was freezing people while he was sucking them up so like uh, uh, for, for uh, I'm gonna say Bowser used his fire breath kind of attack you could do it where it's like it makes the enemy explode it's just like it gives an after effect to a certain attack I, uh, it was mostly shown with like Mario's fireball attack. Yeah, there was like first the first fireball attack they showed was pretty much just like rapid fire of really weak fireballs. 
And then the next version of it was a lot stronger, but it was slower and didn't have as much range as the rapid fire. Again, they didn't give us much details on it, but they are at least telling us, Hey, you're going to be able to do this when we're done. That's at least good, because um, they're not using it for online play, at least. Because I'd like, if someone could find the perfect combination to be completely cheap, it'd be unfair if they could do that online. It would, it would kind of be. And, of course, there is Smash Run. Smash yeah. Run. Um, basically, it's taken, like, Subspace Emissary and flipped it on its head. So, your hunch was correct, like, they did add story, but they did an adventure. It's kind of like adventure going around some kind of labyrinth collecting power-ups. So, pretty... It pretty much works like, like Johnny said, you're going around a labyrinth of different stages, collecting power-ups and beating up enemies. And then, after about five minutes, the labyrinth will end. All the power-ups you collect will go to boost up your stats, like there's a power-up for strength, how high you jump, your defense, your speed. Weapons. Weapons. And then... Once all that is set, they will drop you into a battle with all the power-ups you have collected. Uh, did they say this was online play? I think it is. Probably with friends, though. Yeah. Uh, just, just to say this, this is only for the 3DS version of the game. Which is at least fair considering I'm probably never going to get the Wii U version. I'm just going to stick with the DS. Right. If... Um... Actually, out of everyone in the group, so far, the only people I know who might get the Wii U version is me and Jadik when he decides to get his Wii U. Uh, I'll probably get it sometime. And Tom. And Tom. And oh, don't forget about Tom. And Peach. And Peach. Peach. <laughs> yes, we can see you, Peach. Peach, I don't ever remember you seeing you a thing about you getting a Wii U. Is there even bother? Uh. <laughs> really? And besides that, they did some, like, um, small technical stuff, like, um, they confirmed the frame rate for Smash Bros. 3DS. The game's gonna run at 60 frames per second, although certain things like assist trophies will run at 30. Um, well, it's kind of, it's kind of fair, to be honest, like, the game will possibly push the 3DS to its limits. Oh, incredibly, I... As big a game as Smash Bros. it is, that 3DS is gonna be working for its meal. Well, to be fair, the 3DS is very capable of doing high high quality. It's not like the DS. Yeah, but you know with X and Y, it couldn't have like multiple Pokemon on the screen. Well, to be fair, that's not kind of why they had about quite a bit of a graphical downgrade. It's at least still smooth. But if you do get like the tiniest lags by occasionally, it's like no harm really done. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Um, I have to go. Oh, oh yeah, the um, 3DS version would have the me melee set up with so music. Like, each stage will only have two songs. Right. While in the Wii U version, you'll be able to pick which song you want to play for the stage, like in Raw. Um, Wait. And I cannot wait to hear some of these remixes, because like, some of the Mega Man remixes they had when they were covering him in the direct were awesome. Oh, uh, did you hear the Punch-Out remix? Oh, yes. Oh, God, I was loving it. I was loving it so fucking much. I'd like to see I'd like to the, the Final Destination mix they put for this one. Yeah. I want to know how the Smash Brothers theme is going to sound. What, the opening? Uh -huh. Cause I will admit I like brawls, even though I couldn't make, even though I could barely make sense of it. I like it. It was very grand sounding, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It's probably it's probably gonna like do some sort of medley with the previous themes. Right. See, I can understand brawls because what Subspace Emissary Brawl was like more of a grand game. Yeah, it was like a kind of a big epic of sorts, right? But what Smash Brothers 4 so far, I pretty much sense it's just gonna be like more of what Melee was, like a thing to play with your friends together. 
It's like it's not going to be like this huge grand thing. It's going to be like you know something to play really. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be grand. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be grand. As much shit as they're at, but not as uh, as the gr it won't have the grand feeling like Brawl did. And, uh, and what else? I think we might have covered everything. Uh, let, let me just check to make sure. Oh, they didn't really go into much detail on how to earn trophies, though. They showed a few ones. Um, yeah. Because there was this part of the dark map. Well, uh, the way I literally got... fought out of the game. A lot of ways you got trophies in Brawl is kind of you had to have that specific trophy icon for uh, an enemy. And the only way you get a, the only way you get a boss was if the boss was on like the final sliver of health and you threw it. Oh, that, thank you, Reese. That actually reminded me. There, there will actually be a couple of stages with apparently a few boss characters in them. The, the uh, so far. The Metroid stage and uh, Wily Castle have been confirmed. Yep, Wily Castle will have a will have the Yellow Devil as a Yellow Devil as a stage hazard. The way he works is pretty much he will attack anyone while he's on the stage, and you can only attack him by hitting him in his eye. When he when you're pretty much giving him full damage, he will explode. So he will explode, and whoever landed the last hit won't be affected, but everyone else will. So pretty much he's like how he would act in Mega Man. Yep. Um, although it was a silhouette for the other boss, hinted boss character, it's obviously Ridley. Yes, because Sakurai loves to troll us about Ridley. I can't really see Ridley playable to be honest. He's too fucking big. <laughs> he is too fucking big people, for the love of God. Yes, it would be awesome. Yes, uh, they would probably just do what they did to Bowser and just downside them. But that man is fucking huge! Why did I say the uh, man? That brings me to something else, uh, I think. Um, Little Mac and Wii Fit Trainer have been confirmed with like these special costumes that aren't just simple part swaps. Ah, uh, yes. Little Mac, you got um, Wireframe Little Mac from the Punch Out Arcade game. That way he has really long hair. Um, no, he's literally just a wire frame. Alright. Uh, uh, what guessing. you're thinking of is his final smash, Gigamax. Alright. Okay. I'm going to go well again and say, Wii Fit Trainer is all the male Fit Trainer. Yep. But, let's, um, let's face it, who's gonna play the male Fit Trainer? <laughs> if the internet has taught me Which, one thing... I'm kind of thinking, mate, perhaps a Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna have to repeat this stuff. You are cutting out there really bad. Okay. Thanks. I was trying to say, well, I'm cut. Hope that other characters will get this benefit, like um, maybe having. Mega Charizard X, a costume with Mega Charizard Y? Maybe that could be interesting. That also explains why you would show the Mega as like an actual complete model swap rather than just palette. Hey. Um, like, if they're going to do anything for Pokemon characters, give them shiny palettes as a color swap. Yes. Hey, I'm just going to be happy with my Valentine's Day Falcon, if he's ever announced. <laughs> Um, I was thinking about it, um, and there's a lot of characters in Brawl originally that were just kind of there to be there sometimes, like just kind of fill a slot. Stuff like Jigglypuff and Rob, even though I did like Rob, you think they'd ever return? Like kind of the useless characters? Well, so far... Uh, Jigglypuff, is pro Jigglypuff will probably inevitably return, sadly. But they've already got four, like four kind of slots, which is their max in row. And to be fair, Pokemon Trainer kind of had three in one. Yeah. Albert, um, 
Jigglypuff is in the not sure category. Game not watch. Not sure on him either. Then the character's like his character's like Ness or just worry thing. Well, Ness, I'm sure will return. Lucas, I'm pretty sure he won't, unfortunately. Did anyone actually use Lucas? Uh, didn't Sugar Conroy use Lucas in his in his run of Raw? Oh. Lucas wasn't bad. He was just kind of a copy of Ness. Uh, that's the another thing. I'm kind of hope they don't uh, like do clone characters to a T. Like they Luigi fight a lot of them. Thin link. Uh, for those not familiar with Luigi Vacation, it's basically like taking a clone character and giving them their, an original move set. Again, Thin Link, he's he has been announced to return, but why when he was pretty much the exact same as Link as well in the previous game? Next to Color Swap. <laughs> Seriously, you just do not like Toon Link in Smash Brothers. I honestly love Thin Link. I used him so many times, but at the same time I found him pointless because he was the same as Link. It depends, really, if uh, one of the links have, like, different movesets. No one to be hateful in Toon Link. I actually, it was one of my mains, but at the same time, I knew he was kind of pointless to have. Uh, as long as the final smashes aren't as ridiculous, like Wolf and Falcon. Speaking of, speaking of clone characters, we have not, we have not heard any confirmation of Falco, Wolf, or Ganondorf, for that matter. Falco and Wolf I could do without, so it would be nice to have like, another Star Fox character in again. No, no, not Crystal. Yes, I don't get what, like the first time I heard that people were suggesting Crystal was yesterday, and I was like, why? I should have put Crystal in the same place as Zero Suit Samus, and thus millions of Rule 34 were created, gentlemen. We already have millions of Rule 34. What are all three of them? We fat traders still funny. But seriously, uh, I don't see why, because they have pretty much settled with the fact that they're never going to use any other Star Fox character ever again except Fox. Funny. No, no Slippy. We already got the Ninja Frog, we don't need the badass. The, the badass? The, the badass <laughs> shit frog. <laughs> badass, the big you motherfucker's gonna die! Fox, get this guy off me! His final smash would just be saying, Fox, help me, and then Fox just dive bombs the place in a ship. Oh, bring, uh, bring Pappy Hair in that. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> <laughs> I would. Uh, dude, that, that, that's no. a trophy. Like, he's on his ship, he's kind of hovering above the screen, and you just, like, hover around, and he will occasionally just do a barrel roll. No, his final smash, he just does dual barrel roll, holds on to the stage, and then the entire stage flips over, dumping everyone into oblivion. Do Even the one who activated them. <laughs> Oh god! Oh, Sakurai, we're giving you gold here! Uh, Anything else? Uh, there's one last thing. And as far as I know, we did not cover assist trophies. Oh yeah. So, a lot of... Yeah, uh, a lot of the previous assist trophies, bar Little Mac, are coming back. That includes, uh, Saki, Waluigi, uh, Mr. White, White Ryan, <coughs> Isabel, so, or Isabel. Right, so, <laughs> so going mm -hmm. down this list of assist trophies I have before me, the assist trophies we currently know about are Andros from Star Fox, Ashley from WarioWare. Wow, WarioWare actually gets better. Better say her name, cause she's Ashley. Well, Cat and Anna were in uh, the last game. Uh, Chain Chomp. Dark Samus, Devil from Devil World, never heard of that one. Mr. Wright from Sim City, that's weird. Elect Man from Mega Man. Elect. Knuckle Joe, Isabel from Animal Crossing. Lynn from Fire Emblem, Metroid, Mitna, Mother Brain, Control Capsule version. The Nintendo Dog, 
Saki Amamiya from Sin and Punishment, Samurai Goro from F Zero, Skull Kid, Starfy, and Waluigi. And um And of course Color TV Game 15. <laughs> AKA Pong. It is beautiful. The first game ever made, and they've got it in Brawl. <laughs> you know, I I just about just making a video. You know what? Guys, I feel like doing something else besides brawling. Then we just had the Pong as his trophy going. <laughs> <laughs> just like we just all stand there and watch, just like uh, so who are you voting on? I got the left pedal. <laughs> Well, shit, you lost. Damn! So, like, what, what is that going to do? Is, like, is the little, like, square ball going to be the thing that hits you? Probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And another small character change I forgot to mention. Uh, Pit can no longer glide. I never got the glide to work in the first place, so I don't really care. I got it to work a few times. But... Now, I think we have literally covered everything. So, our final thoughts on yesterday's Direct. My thoughts, I am a boy- 10 out of 10! 10 out of 10! Call that shut up. I'm sorry, that was wrongly immature of me. My, my thoughts, I have bought 5 tickets and am currently aboard the Nintendo hype train. Bring on the smash! That's all I have to find. Alright. Uh, Reese, your thoughts? Eh? <laughs> well, seriously, I am um, pretty excited about this. Um, I'm interested to see what else they're going to come up with. But at the same time, I'm skeptical about a few things, because oh, obviously we don't know everything about the game, so there could be some things we won't like, some things we will like, and it will pop to do. This is probably going to be a good title, though. Oh, different strokes for different blokes. It's not going to win over everyone. I know one thing, this is definitely going to move some Wii U's. Yep. And since it's coming out of winter, you know they're going to make a Wii U bundle with it. Yep. Christmas! Hell, if I didn't already have a Wii U, I would buy a bundle. Mostly because I missed the Wind Waker HD bundle. Um... <laughs> Uh, that's yep, I believe that's it. Yeah, no, yeah. So, from everyone here at the Shout Party... Well, we are Shout Party, and I am Shade saying we're crazy bitches, I'm out! Are we the dead? And God bless us, everyone. Shut hey. up, Tim, you ain't helping. Also, Pete says bye. Say bye, Peach. <laughs>